In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the driver's side catalytic converter on your G35 Infinity. Using a 14 millimeter socket, undo the three nuts. There's going to be one right here. There's one all the way on top of the triangle. And there's this one right here. The one right here and the one on top will be facing you. And this last one will be facing the front of the engine. Our bolts are so corroded that we're not going to mess around with trying to take them off with a ratchet. We're going to take them off with the torch. We're going to be removing these two exhaust bolts. They're going to be 14 millimeters on each side. Ours are down to 13 because of how rusty they are. We're going to attempt at taking these off. and remove that one. Disconnect the O2 sensor connector. There's a little tab on top. And remove that. I'm gonna bend this bracket down just slightly. On top of this connector, right where the metal ends, there's gonna be a little gap. And take a little pick and push down and then pull this forward. This is that little tab that we are pushing down, and right here is the little gap. I'm gonna pull this exhaust slightly back, and remove it from the cap pipe. And we're gonna wiggle the cap pipe, and try and free it just a little bit before we go pulling it down. Remove the cap pipe. Using a 22 millimeter, we're going to remove the O2 sensor out of the old cap pipe and then put it in the new one. Install the sensor into the new cap pipe. Torque it to 40 foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on it, do the best you can. I have two new studs here since I had to cut the old ones off. I'm going to install it into the cap pipe. And using a stud installer, I'm going to snug them down. Then it's ready to go in the car. Using a wire wheel or brush, clean up the mating surface. Do the same thing on the face of this mid pipe. Install the gasket onto the new cap pipe. And then put it up into place. Start the nuts on the studs. And then we'll snug those down. And 
Torque these bolts to 46 foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench in there, do the best you can. Install the mid-pipe gasket and your bolt. And start one nut on this side. And on that side. If you're reusing the bolts, it's gonna be two 14 millimeters. In our case, it was a 14 and a 16. Torque these bolts to 46 foot-pounds. Install the O2 sensor harness into this little clip. Then install the connector onto the bracket. I'm going to bend it back up since I bent it down. And then install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull and make sure it's connected. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.